Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. And today Apple has released iOS 13.1.1 for all devices that support iOS 13. Yes, this was a quick update to iOS 13.1 to address a few issues on your devices. Now, if you care at all about the battery, the performance, and also the security of your iPhone, this is a must download update for your device. This is something that you need to download now. And we'll talk about the details of the software here momentarily. We'll take a look at some of the release notes. Now, Apple yesterday also released iOS 12.4.2. For devices that support iOS 12, but do not support iOS 13. So for example, an iPhone 6 or 6 Plus, if you have this device, you can update now to iOS 12.4.2. And this brings security improvements as well as software improvements as well in regards to performance and things like that. The first thing I wanna talk about is the release notes for iOS 13.1.1. And this software is currently right now available under settings, general and software updates. If you click here, it will populate directly on your device by the way and take a look here at some of the release notes here for the latest software we see here that apple says it fixes an issue that could prevent iphone from restoring from a backup now what's interesting is this is my iphone 11 pro max and i went to update from ios 13.1 to today's ios 13.1.1 and this iphone is stuck on a constant boot loop I'm not sure if this is just my device, if this is going to be something that's going to be happening to a lot of devices, but so far, this has just been me, and uh, yeah, it's constantly on a boot loop there, the iPhone 11 Pro Max, which is unfortunately, luckily, I did back up all my data as I usually like to do. Now, you see here that it's also addressing issues with battery drain on some devices. Now, on my YouTube community post, you guys have been expressing that you have issues on your iPhone 6S, 6S Plus, 7, and 7 Plus with heating and battery issues on the latest iOS 13. Apple appears to confirm this sort of and they're addressing this with a public release to fix some of the issues with the battery of your device. Of course, I'm going to be testing the battery on the latest 13.1.1 to see if we see any improvements, especially on the iPhone 7 and 6S Plus, as you guys were telling me on my YouTube community post, I mentioned that you guys have been having issues. So I'm going to be testing that. And in a few days, you should see that video up on the channel. Now, this also fixes an issue that could impact recognition of Siri requests on the new iPhones, the 11, the 11 Pro, and the 11 Pro Max. And it also resolves an issue within Safari search suggestions that may be re-enabled after it's been turned off. And you also have an issue that's been resolved here with the reminders application that the actual reminders will sync slowly. It won't sync quickly enough for you to have all your reminders sync throughout all of your devices linked to the same iCloud. This has been improved and addressed on the latest software as well. And a security bug fix within third-party keyboards. So this one is very, very important. That's why you need to update your device to the latest iOS 13.1.1 now. There's major security patches here, as well as improvements to the battery and overall everything else we talked about. So I'm going to be testing the software thoroughly. Of course, I'll have a follow-up video for you guys to talk about the battery on older devices, as well as new devices, and talk about the software overall to see the performance. But again, my iPhone 11 Pro Max, be careful guys, make sure you back up your data is constant boot loop there as you can see thank you for watching and i'll see you guys on the next one peace